Welcome to another episode of Continuum Meditations Discusses. So, the new 24 Legacy premiered just this week with a split two-part episode this past Sunday and Monday. And I wanted to dive into a bit of an analysis of the new hero of the story, Eric Carter, and where, possibly, this new show is going to pick up, or rather take off, from its predecessor, the original 24 starring Keith or Sutherland as the famous or perhaps infamous in some people's minds Jack Bauer. I wanted to begin with an overview of the characters in this new story. I think that would be the best place to start uh, because there are a lot of uh, uh, characters in the story even in the first couple of episodes that were introduced uh, major and supporting characters, and I think it would be best to kind of introduce you guys to all of these different people by way of an overview of who they are and what they stand for, and that way that will establish the foundation for the show. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the original 24 series with Jack Bauer, and for those of you who have not seen the new 24 Legacy series premiere as of this past Sunday and Monday. I will, out of courtesy, tell you ahead of time that there will be spoilers in this analysis calling back to both the original series and the new 24 Legacy series. So with that said, if you don't like being spoiled, it would probably be a good idea for you to skip this review until you have at least seen the new 24 Legacy show and uh, if you don't care about being spoiled, well then let's go forward because there are a few things to pick up on here uh, as we go on. So, let's begin. I wanted to start with the new main hero himself. The guy who is fresh into this whole arena of counterinsurgency, counter-terrorist actions, uh, I guess you could say maybe outside of the mainstream, is Eric Carter. This is going to be the new quote-unquote Jack Bauer of the series. Eric Carter is a former Army Ranger who has um, resigned from the service. He is a decorated uh, combat Army Ranger with honors. He is the leader or former leader of a squad responsible for the uh, death of a well-known terrorist named Sheikh Ibrahim bin Khalid, uh, the leader of a terrorist organization located in Yemen. Carter's team consisted of himself uh, and five other men who were responsible for this action overseas at some point in the past in the storyline. The next individual is Nicole Carter, Eric's wife. She is the former, girl, uh, former girlfriend of Eric's brother Isaac, who happens to be a drug dealer, and she believes Eric is having issues readjusting to civilian life after his service in the Army Rangers, and is apparently delaying having a child with Eric because of her concerns. This is Rebecca Ingram. She is the former National Director of CTU, and for those of you who don't know what CTU means, that stands for Counter-Terrorism Unit, or Counter-Terrorist Unit. Uh, that, of course, is the same uh, CTU uh, in principle uh, and in philosophy and in purpose as the CTU that was once led by Jack Bauer and which he formerly associated with at various points during the original 24 TV series. Uh, Rebecca is the wife of Senator John Donovan, who you will meet next, and who is also now running for President of the United States. And this is, in fact, Senator John Donovan, running for President of the United States and husband of former CTU director Rebecca Ingram. This next character is 
former Army Ranger Ben Grimes. Now, Ben happens to be suffering from long-term PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, after his time in the, in the service. Uh, he is a drug addict, or maybe a former drug addict. I'm not entirely sure if he's over his drug addictions at this point, or if he's still suffering from them. He's a street rat who lives off the grid and feels that he is owed something by the United States government. We come to find out that Ben uh, is in, in possession of a strong box that was stolen from Ibrahim Ben Khalid's compound while he was overseas, and that that uh, particular strong box has something that uh, Ibrahim Ben Khalid's people in America really want, and they want it bad, and they're willing to, of course, to kill to get it, and that means. Uh, killing anyone who gets in the way. Ben has this box. He doesn't know what the box is. He just thinks it was uh, a box full of jewelry and cash and other things like that. And he thought he was owed something, so he took it. He doesn't know that it has something very, very important that is much more worth much more than uh, the petty cash and, and jewelry that he stole. And uh, that will be discussed later. But anyway, Ben's family has been killed by Ben Khalid's people as they are looking for that strong box here in America. Our next character is Andy Shalowitz. Uh, he is the current head CTU analyst. He's a guy with an ego who thinks he's really good because he graduated with a fancy degree uh, in computer programming or computer science from Stanford University. However, he's being upstaged by a subordinate analyst with a two-year associate's degree from Brooklyn College. And that subordinate analyst is this individual. Mariana Stiles. Now, she is a callback to the original series, and here's how. Mariana is the cousin of the late CTU analyst Edgar Stiles, and those of you who are familiar with the original 24 television series probably remember the name Edgar Stiles as uh, the CTU analyst who uh, basically took over CTU operations or CTU uh, uh, computer programming and other analytical operations when Chloe O'Brien left uh, CTU. Of course, Chloe O'Brien came back to CTU and Edgar was put under her charge, but Edgar subsequently proved himself to be, I wouldn't say exactly on the level of Chloe O'Brien, but he was very very good in his job and he was able to be a supplement to Chloe O'Brien's obvious brilliance uh, as a CTU analyst. Edgar Stiles unfortunately was killed if I'm not mistaken in the seventh season maybe it was before that I think it was the fifth season actually Edgar was killed during the fifth season of 24 during an attack on CTU uh, we didn't hear anything else about his family but apparently anyway uh, Mariana Stiles is his cousin and is in fact a callback to the original series to Edgar Stiles, a way of tying in the original series to this successor series, and Mariana may perhaps be set to become the new Chloe O'Brien on this show. This individual is Keith Mullins. Keith Mullins is the new CTU director, and there have been many CTU directors during the original 24's time. But anyway, Keith Mullins is the new CTU director, directly chosen by Rebecca Ingram to be her successor. And he is now suspected, but not proven, of being a possible traitor. And so Rebecca is trying to keep him out of the loop as she runs a covert operation uh, alongside Andy Shalowitz. Uh, to help Eric Carter out in trying to uh, get some things going here. We'll explain all of that later. This next character is Neela Mizrani. Neela Mizrani is Senator John Donovan's trusted campaign manager and probable chief of staff. She is uh, trusted by him, as I said, but later is discovered to have attended the radical Parkland Mosque during her college sophomore year where it's suspected she may have possibly been radicalized or may have had ties to Islamic terrorist groups. Now, we don't know everything about this yet, but this is uh, some information that has been recently discovered about Ms. Mizrani, and this may put her relationship with Senator Donovan in jeopardy. However, Senator Donovan, though he has only recently found this out, 
he chooses to stand by her even though she could become a potential liability for him on the presidential campaign trail. So we just have to see how that's going to unfold. Of course, this next individual, as I said, Eric Carter has a brother. And that is this person here, Isaac Carter. He is the estranged brother of Eric Carter. He is a drug dealer, a brother from the other side of the tracks, as it were. And he has uh, a lot of beefs with his brother. And I'm assuming that Isaac is the older brother to Eric. Uh, Eric uh, somehow managed to steal um, Nicole, who is uh, who was at the time Isaac's girlfriend and is now Eric's wife. He has problems with Eric not just because of that. He has also has problems with the fact that Eric actually went and joined the Rangers in the first place. That apparently did something to cause a rift in their relationship between him and his brother uh, and Eric and his father. And uh, so there might be some other tension going on there. But anyway, that's what's going on between Eric and his brother Isaac. This is Jadallah bin Khalid, son of the late Ibrahim bin Khalid, a charismatic young man, European educated at Oxford University. Uh, Jadala is determined to finish his father's work and has taken over his father's cell, which is now here in America, planning terrorist attacks of an unknown kind and of an unknown quantity and of an unknown scale at this point. This is Kusuma. This is Ibrahim bin Khalid's right hand and ever loyal follower. He would do whatever the late Sheik asked of him, but is having trouble doing the same for his son Jadala. Uh, who is the Sheik's presumed successor at this point. And there may be some opportunity for dramatic tension there, which may cause rifts, possible betrayals, who knows at this point. We'll see. This is our next supporting character, Amira Dudayev. She is a young teenage Chechen immigrant who has somehow been radicalized to help carry out terrorist attacks against the United States from uh, inside the United States. She's involved in these attacks, uh, these activities, along with her so far unnamed and unseen brother, who is also part of these actions. For now, we don't know if the attack or attacks, plural, that she's part of have anything to do with the larger Ben Khalid terrorist cell or not. But if 24 Legacy follows what I like to call the 20 formula, eventually Amira and the rest of her group will, more than likely, be a subplot of the bigger bin Khalid plot. This is Drew Phillips. Drew Phillips is Amira's former boyfriend who suspects she's involved in terrorist activities. He's trying to intervene to stop her so she doesn't go through with it and unfortunately uh, he may not get the chance to do that uh, if current uh, things unfold in the storyline as they have unfolded during these first couple of hours of the new show. Our next character is David Harris. David Harris is a teacher at the high school where Amira and Drew go as students. He is working uh, undercover uh, as, a, as a teacher there, and, but he is also part of Amira's terrorist cell. He is in some way, we don't know exactly how, involved in the pending terrorist attacks that Amira and her brother are working toward. And while he appears to be uh, something of an intelligent individual, capable of creating weapons of mass destruction for use by the terrorists, he also appears, appears to be a very weak-willed weak -willed and easily manipulated person, uh, especially by Amira, who uses her feminine charms to sucker him into sticking with the plan and not whimping and or cowering out. Our last person so far that I want to introduce you to is Aisha. Aisha is Isaac's woman, Isaac Carter's woman. She is the number two, apparently, or at least uh, she has some credible amount of influence on Isaac. She's uh, at some, some, some part of the right hand, I would guess, uh, in his organization, in his drug organization. But she does have some issues with Isaac in their relationship. She does appear to be something of a self-willed and narcissistic individual, uh, you know, with something of an attitude. Uh, and she has issues with Isaac to the point where she's willing to betray his business interests to rivals both inside and outside of his group for her own personal vengeance and greed. So that's the breakdown of the characters that we've seen so far. 
and uh, that's a lot of characters right there to absorb but uh, as expected uh, they are following this new 24 legacy TV series he is in fact following in the footsteps of its predecessor and I would say it's following quite closely so far uh, in following and keeping to what I like to call the 20 formula and it is the 20 formula which we will take up next in our discussion of the new 24 legacy TV series <laughs>